How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Now last video you saw we picked up a Suzuki Jimny for cool part and we got over fenders for it, we got a snorkel, we got all the cool stuff to make it a proper cool mini 4x4 thing but before we get into that we've got this MX-5, you've seen us work on this before, we did a wee bit of work, we straightened it up just a little bit, we got the panels so we could drive it to the unit and now today it's time to actually fix it properly, straighten it. Over here we've got um, we've got all our new parts, so we've got the sand panel, we've got our crash bar in it. Crash bar. And uh, that's the under tray. The obviously. The bonnet and the wings on. One's, one's there. We've got the bumper on the wing there. Headlight. Like, everything here is ready to go on. We just need to cut off the bent stuff. And to do that, I need to get this front end off. Yeah. So we need all the work we've done to get it done here. We need to get it off. Oh, there's another box upstairs somewhere that's got the new fuse box holder in it. Oh, right, so... It's here somewhere. Yeah, as well. So it's upstairs, I think. We've got all the stuff to fix this MX-5, and today we're going to fix it. Yeah. I don't think we time-lapsed putting all this front end on, so I think we'll just, off-camera, quickly get all this front end back off, and then we'll cut back in when we're cutting the old bent uh, slam panel off and take it from there, I think. So, yeah. You crack on with this, and we'll see you in a minute. Right, welcome back guys, it's the next day. As you can see behind me, we've got all the front end pots off, headlights, bumpers, bonnet, wings, and the uh, outside, Dad's out setting up the, the dozer, is that what it's called? Yeah. And uh, we're getting ready to pull this leg. This will be my first time pulling anything on a car, and it's been a long time since you've done it. It's been a long time it, so. since I've done it, so. First thing we're going to do is we'll pull the full leg over just a little bit because it is slightly out but most of the damage is on this outer bit so we'll pull the whole leg over a bit till we get this side lining up straight and then we'll try and pull this side of the leg to flatten it at the top again so Yeah because we had a look last night, it's out about an inch and a half Yeah But it's mainly squashed isn't it? It is squashed yeah so I think so. This, this is going to be a wee bit awkward so we'll probably just throw in a time lapse this could be like a few wee, it's still going to pull straight forward so we'll be constantly readjusting and moving stuff about so we'll probably just set up a time lapse pattern and get this straight and you'll see us test fitting it through the, th the test fitting the crash bar through the full process if you do want to slow the time lapse down you can go to the three dots at the top and change the playback speed and it'll look a bit slower for you and you'll see a lot more in depth but yeah let's work out the time lapse and straighten this up I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free with me Let's go let's Be free with me Be free Right, there we have it. One straight chassis leg, so we'll need to do a wee bit of body filler there just to take that wee dent out. But I've measured the tops of the chassis leg, they're both identical, so they're both the exact same width. We've got the dent out of the inside here. It's looking all good on this side. We've test fitted the new crash bar, it fits perfectly. So what we need to do now is I've started cleaning up the new front panel. So we'll get this spot welded on and before we do anything else we'll get that spot welded on we'll get all the rubbing done done we'll get that painted silver um, and then we can get the radiator and I've written back into this car and get it running again but first things first it's very 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 hot and sweaty i need some water go have some lunch and then just have a wee break for half an hour because that was a busy morning but we've got it done so Lunch time. Right, we've got all the welding finished, the new front panel's welded on, bit of seam sealer, bit of zinc primer to help with rust protection, and it's all looking pretty good at the moment, so next up, Charlie's been scotch padding this all down because we need to do this in silver. We've got an aerosol can up there in the silver paint, haven't we? 
think so. Yeah, so we'll get that down. We'll mask everything off. And while it's so hot, timer's still drying a wee bit here. Um, while it's so hot, the paint will dry quick. So I think what we'll do is we'll do it the way Mazda do it, Charlie. And we won't lacquer the inside. So Mazda only base coat it. And it's the same with the wings. If you look at the original wings, they're only base coat on the inside. So we'll do the same. We'll base coat everything and then start rebuilding it. Right, Charlie's just swapping the bonnet latch round. This is all painted now. This looks perfect now. Uncrushed. Totally uncrushed. Chassis legs are nice and straight. Lines up perfectly. We've painted it silver. Like I said, we're not going to leave. We're going to leave lacquer off of this because that's how it looks at the factory. So when we put the wings on, we'll do the same. We'll leave them with no lacquer on them on the inside. And uh, I think we might be able to get this back up and running again tonight, Charlie, won't we? Because it's only half past three. So I think we'll get the radiator and everything back in. And get the crash sensors and everything back on. And get the new fuse box in. I've got that up there. So I'll go and get that down now and we'll see if we can separate that. Right, so there you have it. The oh. MX-5 front end is completely straight again. Panel repaired, everything's bolted back on perfectly. The radiator fits properly now. It's all bled up, and uh, it's that's as much as we can do today. We, we do need to do a coolant change on it because we've not got any FL22 coolant here. No, so it takes the green stuff and we've not got any, so. No, but we got the fuse box and everything back in. Uh, air box and everything's back in. Duct looks all in. This was the leg that was bent, and it looks, I'd say that looks unbent. Yeah, Un unbent. Unbent. Yeah. So. I'd say it's unbent. I think yeah. we've fixed it. We've fixed it, so. Everything fits again. For this video, I think that's going to be it. Yeah, engine so. bay's finished, so. Engine's bay finished. The next thing that we need to do is do the rust repair on, on the, the wings, wings and yeah. get it all painted. And then for that, this Mazda 3, Mazda 3? Oh, five. you don't want a Mazda 3 back. No. So this show makes five, that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.